Welcome back to the third and final video demonstrating the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. First up is an item testing language and short-term recall ability using sentence repetition. Now I want you to repeat a sentence exactly as I say it. Okay. I only know that John is the one to help today. I only know that John is the one to help today. Good. Same thing with a new sentence. Okay. But try to get it exactly as I say it. Okay. The cat always hid under the couch when dogs were in the room. The cat always hid under the couch when the dogs are in the room. Okay. Very good. Next, we assess verbal fluency and processing speed when we ask the patient to tell us as many words that they can think of, starting with a certain letter of the alphabet, in one minute. Watch now as I give the instructions and start the clock. Now, this next item, I am going to ask you to work quickly because okay. I'm going to time you. Okay. 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 What's going to happen is I'm going to say a letter of the alphabet. Yeah. When I say the letter, I want you to start telling me words that begin with that letter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But there are three rules. Right. It can't be someone's name. It can't be a proper noun. And it can't be a number word. Okay. So, for example, if I said the letter T, it can't be Tim or Topeka, or 20, yeah. but any other word. Yeah, okay. tiny. Right? Okay. Okay? All right, so are you all set? All okay. Set. The letter is F. Farm, funny, film, faucet, fierce, fender, frank, uh, feel, Foundry, formal, feast, uh, fence, fake. Excellent. You max that one. <laughs> That's good. As the patient is listing words, keep track. To get one point, the patient needs to tell you at least 11 words before the minute is up. The next item is called abstraction. This item helps us identify the range of a patient's intellect. As we grow and develop intellectually, we move from thinking concretely to thinking more abstractly. Think of an apple and a banana. Concretely, we might say they both have skin or appeal, but more abstractly, they are similar because they are both, categorically speaking, fruit. Watch now as I give the patient a sample item and then the two test items in abstraction. All right. This next one, I want you to tell me how two words are alike or how they're similar. Okay. Apple and banana. They're both fruits. Okay. Train and bicycle. Uh, both forms of transportation. All right. What about a watch and a ruler? Uh, they're uh, a rule of... A uh, time. All right. One's a rule of time. No, okay. A, a measure. It's a measure. Okay. They're both measures. All right. Scoring the abstraction item takes into account only the two test items. Next, we return to the item assessing short term recall. Only items recalled spontaneously contribute to the score. Now, what were those words I wanted you to remember? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. I had a clue. The final section is orientation. We want to find out if they are oriented to time and place. Score one point for each correct answer. Good. All right. What was, what's today's date? <laughs> today's date is, uh, I don't know. It's, um, I was going to look at my watch, but I'm not going to do that. It's, um, I don't really know. I really don't know. That's okay. That's all right. How about the month? The month is uh, October. All right. And the year? It's 2016. All right. What about the day of the week? I think it's uh, Wednesday. I'm not sure. 
And what kind of place is this here? What kind of work do we do it's in this building? Facility. Okay, in what city? Orlando. Okay. I'm only half right, but I'm, at least I know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm about to get old. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you are done with all the test items, a final question you need to ask is to identify the highest level of education the patient completed. For patients who completed 12 years or less, one point is added to the score. Now, remind me, how far did you go in school? I went to, uh, through high school. Some final pearls about using the MOCA. It's definitely the best test to use for your patients with college and or graduate level education. You also want to keep track of the test result in your electronic medical record for future reference. Remember how important it is to know if someone's intellect has changed. Having a baseline can be really helpful. Finally, while the MOCA is only validated as a complete test, if you are short on time, you may want to consider using certain key items to evaluate for cognitive decline. For example, with a patient complaining of memory loss, consider doing the trail making, clock, five word recall, and serial sevens. If patients are complaining of word lapses or language difficulty, you can use the clock, five-word recall, verbal fluency, and repetition. Finally, if you have concerns about driving, consider using trail making, copying of the cube, the clock test, and verbal fluency, along with orientation. I hope you now feel more knowledgeable and capable about using this important assessment tool. Thanks for watching.